Welcome back to the Mike Will Experiment, everybody. I am here today to go over... Yes! Oh, yeah! Is it money the time? <laughs> I am here today to go over... How to get Mario Pin <gasps> Set number two! If you are new to the Mike Will Experiment... The Mike Will Experiment is a first and third party Nintendo gaming blog channel. We do also cover the latest in my Nintendo with my Nintendo collectibles. Club Nintendo era. We do also cover Google Stadia. This is something you'd be interested in. Please like and subscribe to my channel. So big news. Big breaking news today. Um, we are here to give you the full details on how to obtain pin set number two. Now, we're here to give you the scoop, what you need to do with the My Nintendo missions. First, you'll see here that you have to purchase the Super Mario 3D World Plus Bowser's Fury and have at least 14 missions. You will need to have 14 missions completed before purchasing Bowser's Fury, which is mission 15. This is according to the official pin set rules. Purchase the Super Mario 3D World Plus Bowser's Fury game. Complete this mission by purchasing the digital version of the Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Free game or purchasing the physical version and claiming your My Nintendo Gold Points on your Nintendo Switch system. This mission is required to qualify for the Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary pin set number two. For more information about the pin set, and we do go into that in, this, in a separate part here as well, I do go into the extra pin set details. Um... So you need to make sure you have 15 missions total completed. That's 14 as of now and 15 when it goes through. Now, keep in mind, you want to go, if you're not at 14, you want to scroll through these missions and see what you can finish. Now, for example, in the participate in the Splatoon Splatfest online challenge, you may not do that, be able to do that if you don't have Splatoon, but I confirmed it and you'll see my check mark today. You can sign up without owning Splatoon 2. It is not a requirement to own Splatoon 2 to complete one of two of these missions. Um, I wish I had known that for some of the other missions too. I don't think I got the sign up mission for. Uh, I don't think I got the sign up mission for Super Smash Brothers. But regardless, um, go ahead and sign up for that Splatoon challenge if you haven't already. And if that was your 14th mission, you're good. If you still haven't reached 14, I am going to scroll through the rest of these to show you what's still available. Obviously, these are ended December 12th. Um, this one for the Nintendo VS Cup Challenge and a December 12th. The box lunch is still going, I believe. Um, 18th Maximum Cup, that's over. You can't do that anymore. You can still do the anniversary page on Amazon.com. Um, you can still create a Mario Kart Live Home Circuit Racer ID. Um, and the Super Mario Maker 2, obviously, is I completed those because I own that game. But unfortunately, that is probably no longer completable in any other fashion. So you won't be able to do those. The Read the, My, the Monthly Nintendo Newsletter, you may be able to dig through your emails and find the code for that. Um, I never received my code. That's why it's not checked off. Um, but check your... Um, you know, your account settings, see where your email goes and try to find that email. That's another mission that you can get checked off um, if you haven't. I wasn't able to do that one myself, but there's multiple paths to 14. You don't have to do the same missions. Um, they did this, I think, to be fair, actually, um, which I really like. Um, you know, normally the last way the pins were given out, maybe they took some feedback from, you know, our video and other videos and decided maybe that wasn't the best way than making it more fair here. So it's good. There's more missions. There's more variety of missions. Um, there is probably going to be less scalpers just because doing all of this is time consuming. And I'm hoping that means that all of my wonderful subscribers will get the Mario pin set too. You can see here, um, this just shows all the things that I did. Um, now you'll notice one thing here too, on the original, the, the verbiage has changed on the original mission. It said it's required to receive the pin set to buy the game. Now they have slightly changed the verbiage in regards to how you obtain pin set number two. And I think it's very interesting. And I want to go a little bit more into that here. So my Nintendo members who complete the purchase, the super Mario 3d world plus Bowser's Fury game mission and 14 additional eligible Mario theme missions. Before they expire, will be eligible to receive a limited edition set of commemorative Super Mario pins while supplies last. Similar to what they said before, right? This set includes a Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary pin 
and pins featuring Mario from Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario Galaxy, New Super Mario Brothers U, Super Mario 3D World, and Super Mario Odyssey. Now it says in the bottom, codes for pin sets will be distributed after the launch of Super Mario 3D World. So codes will be distributed. Is not the exact verbiage they used last time. What do you think they mean by that? Let me know in the comments below. Are they emailing us codes? Are we still going to have to get codes? Are we going to have to fight at midnight for codes? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Want to help us grow? Comment below. Hope you guys have a great day.